Hi there, finally up now update a gaya. Here is the Mi TV 4A 43 inch that came only with patch wall, the first generation. I finally got the Android 9 stable update. I know many of you are still waiting, but it's being rolled out in phases and those who haven't received it, don't panic, you will see it soon. Sorry, I've got a bad throat, but I got to make this one. So coming to the update, how is it? Well, some things are good, some are not. We shall talk about everything in this video, but before that, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates. This is your friend Texing. Let's get started. The update came at 787 MB. It took around 15 minutes to download and around 15 minutes to install. I received the update a couple of days ago, but I didn't hurry to make a video on it so that I could share my full experience. And here it is. So before we begin, let's have a quick glance at the Android version number, device preferences, about, and here you can see Android 9, Android Pie. There you go. So finally, the stable update is here and there are mixed feelings. The most frustrating part was it took over an year after it was announced and many are still waiting. But the good part is it's an upgrade from Android 6 to Android 9. Wow, that's a big leap. So those struggling with no Play Store finally have access to tons of official apps. We have the official Prime videos, official YouTube app and official Play Store. That's amazing, but sadly, no Netflix. A little disappointing. It would be great to get Netflix after the update. Though Xiaomi never said it will give Netflix to its first generation Mi TV, only Prime videos was confirmed. But we had hopes and let's hope probably in the future we still do get that one. Fingers crossed. I tried sideloading the Netflix Android TV app from Aptoid TV and it didn't work. What a bummer. Then I downloaded the mobile version of the Netflix app and surprisingly it worked like a breeze. But there are a few trade-offs. You're going to need an air mouse keyboard remote to navigate the app. I tried it with the Mi TV remote and once it worked also. So you should try it, you might just get lucky. I've already made a video on the air mouse keyboard remote, you can click the link here. I'll also leave the link of the video in the description. Also when you download the mobile version of app, you won't be able to see the Netflix icon in the app launcher. You have to install a third party launcher, the ATV launcher from the Play Store and when you click on that launcher, you can access Netflix. The videos on the Netflix app seem to be playing at full HD. However, there is no way to actually figure out, but what I could see is they looked crisp, sharp and nice. You can access subtitles and change the audio, but that is only with the help of the Air Mouse keyboard remote. Overall, the side-loaded mobile version of the Netflix app worked better than I expected. Coming to Amazon Prime. Played a lot of content from the past few days and it worked absolutely fine. No app crashes, accessing subtitles, change fonts and videos played very smoothly. Moving to YouTube. Now a lot of people were complaining that the YouTube app had stopped working on the patch wall Mi TVs, but now YouTube works perfectly fine after the update. You can play 4K videos, but they max out at full HD. The videos play smoothly, no lag and no app crashes. There are many features and changes in the Android TV 9. I'm trying to cover most of them. In case I miss them out, I highly recommend you watch this video I've made on tips and tricks on the Android TV 9. I'll also leave the link in the description. So now you have Chromecast built in after the update. So actually even the Netflix app on your phone supports Chromecast, but it won't work because the device isn't certified by Netflix. So let's check Chromecast with YouTube. Let's open the YouTube app on your phone. Click on the Chromecast icon on the top. You'll see your TV's name. You'll see Chromecast shows up on your TV. Let's play the video. Click play. And the video starts playing. You can even control the video from your phone. You can pause it from here. You can play it. You can scrub further and back. The other good thing is you can lock your Android phone and control the video even from the lock screen. Pause, play and even cancel Chromecast directly from here. You'll see a drastic change in Patchwork. Firstly, the white interface Patchwork 2.0. Many new app support. Go to the settings and you can even change the theme to dark or light as per your preference. And below here is the much talked about data saver mode. Basically, when you connect your Mi TV to your mobile hotspot and turn this on, it reduces data consumption as compared to when connected to a Wi-Fi. 
and you can also set it to alert you when the data usage is crossing 500 MB or 1 GB. You can set it accordingly as per your data plan and how much you want to save. Patchwork users were struggling with no app store since its inception. And finally now we have the Play Store. So tons of Android TV apps available, tons of music streaming apps, tons of games. Go browse and find what suits you. So many people have asked me, will this also get Bluetooth support after the update? Well, no, there is no Bluetooth on this device after the update. So this is one of the most asked questions. Can we use Google Voice Search on the first generation Mi TV after the update? Well, yes. Google Voice Search, yes. Without a mic on the remote, yes, yes, yes. All thanks to the Android TV app. So it's a simple process. Download the Android TV app from the Play Store. Make sure the TV and phone are on the same Wi-Fi network. There you go. You have the same D-pad to navigate the TV. You can type using the app which makes it so much more convenient. You can pause, play videos directly from the app. You can even control the volume from here. This is so handy. And now for the best part. What is the weather in Mumbai? It's 30 with smoke. This is really amazing. Now you can use the Google Voice search for the first generation Mi TVs too. Bravo! TV lock is also now available on the Mi TVs. It's basically like a parental lock. It's simple. You press the D-pad to set a password and you're done. Comes in handy if you have kids. Played 4K videos on the pen drive and they played without any hiccups. I would advise you to download the VLC player from the Play Store. It plays almost any type of video files you throw at it. So if I had to nitpick, the device took a lot longer to boot compared to the Patchwork OS. You can use the screen off option which can be selected by holding the power button on the remote. It turns the display off and instantly turns on when you press the power button again, saving you a lot of time. Ideal if you turn on the device many times in a day. Also, the device is a tad laggy and not as smooth as most Android TV OSs are. But I shouldn't complain, at least now we have the Android TV, YouTube, Amazon Prime Videos, tons of apps and games from the Play Store. It's an update we've all been waiting for a very, very, very long time. I'm so glad it's finally here. I'll be making a separate gaming video and best display settings videos very soon. So subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I hope this video was helpful. Write down in the comments and let me know if there are any questions. Also, I'd like to apologize for my bad throat, but I had to make this video. And if there's something you weren't able to understand, write it down in the comments and I'll reply back to you. Follow me on my social media handles. You'll see the handle names right here. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Until next time, cheers.